What is going on guys? Welcome back to Be The Fish. And in today's episode, we're gonna show you a Ned Rig modification that catches bigs. There you go. So everybody likes to throw Ned Rig every, well, I shouldn't say everyone likes to, but just about everyone has a Ned Rig rigged up in their boat, on their kayak, from the bank, whichever it is. Whether you throw the Ned Rig or not, you probably own one. With the recent Ned Rig craze over the past, what, maybe five to eight years, it, it's become a confidence for a lot of people and especially for us up in the north for smallmouth. Now this technique can be very effective for those not in just smallmouth areas. For folks down south and river systems, on lakes, clear water, dirty water, this can play. So a lot of people take a Ned Rig and they just slap a small plastic on it and call it good. There are definitely some net heads out there that are effective, some that are good, and there's some that are just downright junk. Uh, for us in the north, uh, there's not a lot of really heavier net heads. Um, so actually this net head right here is a 3 8 ounce and it's custom with an owner hook. Um, you can actually build it with certain molds from Do It Molds. Uh, we'll leave the link to everything down below if you want to make your own, uh, which is honestly juice in itself because no one really makes a good net head out there that's heavy, especially for us in the Great Lakes. So unlocking part one of the juice right there. The second part of the juice, uh, which some folks have been able to get their hands on so far, is the Maxent Lil General. Now the Maxent Lil General is just a three inch Ned stick bait. Um, you guys know what it is. You can even save yourself 10% off if you order from Omnia Fishing. Another plug down below in the description. And this bait is a, it's a scent dispersion bait. So in terms of it's infused with power bait Maxent, which actually just because it's water based, disperses throughout the water, which smallmouth are nomadic in nature. They pick up on scent trails, even if you're dead sticking that bait, especially if there's current, which even lakes have natural current, and it leaves scent trails, and smallmouth will pick up on the scent trail, and it basically gives them a roadmap to go towards your bait. So using Maxent, you're already drawing fish towards you. Now, the modification that can be really, especially when you have finicky fish around, um, it can either work or not around finicky fish, but especially when you're in cloudier water, dirtier water, something that's more stained, especially for smallmouth, but this can definitely work for largemouth, is this baby right here. So this right here is a Z-Man TRD spit. And it's basically what it is, is it's got a bait keeper uh, pinned to a wire, maybe about an inch long, um, and it's attached to a blade. And these come in gold, these come in silver, they come in willow, they come in Colorado. Uh, there's a bunch of different options you could do, and there's not a just Z-Man. There's a couple companies that make them. I believe Owner makes them. Um, these are just the ones that I've decided to use and have found success with. And basically, this can kind of be a little sneaky deal to your, your Ned Rig. And you're going to see in the, today's video where we catch a bunch of big small mouth in cold temperatures, but something that was the water was a little bit churned up and they needed a little bit of flash to kind of get their attention on the bait to key in on it a little bit easier. So basically how you do it, it's really not rocket science. You take your spins and your Ned Rig and you shove it in the tail end of that plastic. The nice part with Maxent being as soft as it is, it goes in easy and will stay in easy. Now you have your bait. I'll give you guys a little close up here. And this bait, it really, like with that blade, it takes minimal effort. Even with that natural current, natural lake current, that blade is going to spin. Even if you're dead sticking, that, that blade, even with the tail action too, is going to cause it to move, cause it to glimmer, and that's going to be something that smallmouth are easily going to pick up on. So in today's video, you're gonna see my buddy, Mr. Jeff Hippert, who has an amazing guide service on Lake Erie, and also my buddy, Mr. Destin Demarian, former Bassmaster Elite Series Pro, uh, we went out, smashed on some smallmouth, uh, caught a bunch of five pounders. I think Destin had one that was like 6'1". We were throwing a net rig, throwing different baits, and this was the key to unlocking the juice. And that was the adjustment that we needed on that day to have a successful day. So this is one where I you know I don't really want to be sharing with the public, but it's something I enjoy educating and I think the public deserves to know. Because you see this down in Florida with some, you know, six inch stick baits for flipping for Florida bass, but don't sleep on it for smallmouth either. So this bait is pretty cool. It's something that I'm going to be using in my arsenal a lot more. So I'm going to play around more for green fish as well when times get tough. But something I wanted to share with you guys. So enough of me talking. Let's get into today's video. Enjoy some smallmouth beat down action. <laughs> I'm the Coco angler today. 
Coke I'm the third wheel as second fiddle here. The third wheel as they say. And what? Yeah, I'm like, what? There you go. No! Is it a big one? It's a eight pounder. Big one! Eight pounder. Nah, it feels like two. It's like a two pounder. Yeah. Weigh that thing. That thing three and three quarters. That's a four all day. Yeah, it probably is. You better weigh it. You want me to it? No, it's okay. Jeff, 20 pounds. <laughs> Jeff, 20 pounds. <laughs> that thing's over four. That's because they weren't that thing. I'll give five to you as well. See you later. Thank you, sir. If this becomes a deal, I do have more blades. Are that the screw on one? Yeah. The screw on it? It's the inserts. No, oh, it's the little keeper. Yeah, dude. So you gave him a second? Yeah. <coughs> so he hit it twice. So he hit the blade. That is a good one. I think I got your line, dude. Do you? Coming. I got it. Bailey, very, very, very good idea. That's incredible. You ain't saying Chloe Angler's now. <laughs> no. <laughs> that was smart. Really smart. Especially because these fish are so pressured. It's really getting smaller. It's still a four. Yeah, well, it's a good one. That's a five pounder. Same thing you just described. Same thing. I'm not gonna say anything until he gets here. I'll jinx myself. Oh no, that was Brad. Brad killed the perch. Didn't say what kind of species. Come on, dude. That would knock the slack in it. It doesn't feel big. Yeah, mine's tiny. I got your line? Yeah, I do. No. Uh, just wrap your... Maybe not. Maybe it's this way. <laughs> I have no idea. It's a dang little one, though. You're good. Which way? Yeah, I think it's this way. Yep, we're good. Woo! Let's go fight, boy! Let's
Oh! Did you like that? <laughs> That's not that big. <laughs> Just came out too. Five one. There's another one. That's a big head shake. Four two the longest. Oh come on! Bravo, Jeff. I lost a couple of them to Pike because I was throwing spinner baits. There we go. We were throwing spinner baits and I didn't have any plastics to throw as a trailer. I threw like part of a single one and I put the blade on the back on a spinner bait. I can't tell. I don't think so. There's a lot of fish here. He's tubby. Choked it. Now we on him. Because I got pickled. the day. All right, give us a midday update. Well guys, Justin Mary reporting here for Jeff Live for all the folks at home. Um, it's been a slow morning, but we, we figured out a little adjustment. <laughs> yeah, Jeff didn't share his PB and J's with all of us. He didn't bring it up with the whole class, which we're a little disappointed about. But we're uh, just gonna wait till the end of the day before we throw him off the boat and have a mutiny because we need him to drive back. <laughs> um, you know how to drive. Do I? I'm a towing today. <laughs> towing don't know how to drive. All boat. right, Mr. Boater, update today. Midday update. I think it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. Oh, you're about to fish pretty. for a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell just happened? I think I just broke off. Something hit me on the way up. Did you not see that? No. Yeah. It broke? Yeah. Dude, you have a spinner on. <laughs> it was probably a freaking walleye or laker. Yeah, it was probably a laker. It was, yeah, they got deep. That's probably what all these fish do. They got stuck like every single one of them. Yeah, I got one right now. Can you can you reel this in for me? I'm gonna dude, I'm gonna twitch my blade bait my legs. <laughs> Jeff, mine feels big too.
That's a giant. It's a big one. <laughs> yeah, it was like a three. I had one hit the blade and then hit the net at the same time. Cool. I see you, baby. We'll see him in five minutes. Oh, I just got bit. Yeah, I'm on. I saw him. <laughs> That doesn't feel that big. We have a four ten and a four eleven. Preferably double six. Good one. It's all right. Look big out there. Knock the snot out of it. Look big. Right. That feels big. That feels big. I'm way out there. That's a big one. That's a big one. I didn't realize how far out it was. <laughs> Come back up. That was like a five at least. I could be wrong. Yeah. Yeah. He's dogging me. Yeah, it's not the odd thing. It's probably the best idea for that. Come on. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do from there. Oof. Oh. Come in hot. That's a good one. Yeah. Good one, dude. It's gotta be a five. Maybe. It's a five either. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video and kind of took us some tips and snippets uh, from that bait, that little modification that I showed you guys. The one thing I neglect to tell you guys in the introduction is basically with this bait, what rod and what reel setup am I throwing for this? Now, being that it's such a heavier Ned, um, you'd want to change up your setup. Personally, I'm not a fan of throwing a seven foot medium rod with a bait that's three eighths ounce. I want something with, especially if my line's gonna be out at a long distance, I want more leverage on those fish. Um, that being said, what I use is an Abu Garcia Fantasista Premier. This is a seven six, seven six, seven foot six inches uh, Fantasista Premier. Uh, it's a medium fast, um, and I have this paired up with an Abu Garcia Xenon 30, uh, and I have 10 pound braid to 8 pound gamma fluorocarbon. Um, I don't believe you can get gamma on uh, Omnia Fishing, but everything else you can grab on Omnia Fishing for 15% off your first order, 10% on an order after your first. All the links are down below, but I want to share that with you guys because it's honestly the perfect setup for net rigging, something that allows me to really pin that hook in those fish get leverage on them, get them to the boat, and keep them pinned. But I hope you guys enjoyed that little tidbit. Uh, obviously there's gonna be more tips and these little techniques and little secret stuff that I'm gonna hopefully disclose to you guys because I love educating. I wanna see you catch more fish when I get those DMs of like, hey man, I use this, what you talked about either on this channel or in the Serious Angler podcast, getting those messages of you guys learning and using it and catching big fish, it is all worth it. So if you guys could, please hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and we'll see you guys on the next episode.